We ready. Yeah. We ready. Oh. Prime. Well, what's going on, everyone? Just got back from the Caribbean. Just got back from a cruise seven days. It's probably about 10 pounds heavier. And we all know the camera it adds about 10 pounds anyway. So. That'll be 20 pounds, but let's get to it. And let me show you what you got here. A little Civic job, but man, it is really, really messed up in this area. Got a lot of dents in this area, if you can see that. And I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but there is a dent, an outward dent, for however reason, whatever reason, coming in here. So, uh, gonna pull this one in this one's a lease return we do not need to blend this because this is a uh, pretty good matching color and I'm gonna show you how to do it we're gonna break the series into a couple videos the body work and then the paint I think the videos might work a little bit better for that and get your guys attention a lot better so uh, let's pull her on in uh, she is stick shift all right Okay, let's get this car and this door all disassembled before we start any work. Oh, okay. When can you uh, do what we said? Is there something in there from Mike's car? Like a key from Mike's car? Why are you gonna mess with me? Of course it is. I don't got my this thing on my head for nothing. Yeah, the one that stole my phone. Okay, so I got the door all this assembled. What you're gonna see me do now is grind off all the paint and identify where my lows and highs are. So let's get to that right now.
Okay, so you saw me work the metal. I got it all nice and straight. For the most part, it's good. It's ready for filler. We uh, have our low spots here the filler can take care of. So uh, we're gonna pop some filler in there and uh, hopefully only have about maybe one or two coats before we can uh, prime it. So uh, let's get some filler on it. Okay, so I got the body filler on. Now what I did is I went ahead and I put two coats on. The first coat is right in here and I used the cheese grater, okay, to knock it down. And what that did is it showed me all of my low spots. So instead of sanding it and wasting time, wasting time, I already know I need a little more uh, filler. So I put one more coat back on and that's the filler you see right in this area, okay? So now what I'm gonna use is a 180 grit. I'm gonna get it all sanded down and then I'm gonna block it out. And then I'm gonna check to see um, if it still needs any glazing putty or anything like that. So we're getting closer. And the key is to get your metal as straight as you can. So we're gonna take this whole area, 180, and then we'll feather it back, feather it back. All right, so I have um, all this just gently sanded down with 80 grit to kind of clean it up. Now I have 80 on here because I really want to block it hard and cut it flat. It's very important uh, because if you have a, like a higher grit, it will just kind of go over instead of cutting flat. It will just kind of whoop instead of slicing it. And that's what exactly what I need to do right here. Okay, so I got the two coats sanded down. You can see the first coat was around here. The second coat only really is here, filled in. So we sanded off most of the filler. Now I'm feeling like where the high spots are. And I've got something right here, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a tap down on it. Just a little bit. I need to get it just below the surface of where my filler is going to be. And a high spot can happen when you're pulling. You know, you're not going to pull it 100%. So this is kind of where you got to work the metal a little bit. Um, just because metal is showing does not mean it's a high spot. That's why you have to feel using your hand to determine where those high spots are. Okay, now that I feel it's pretty good, we're gonna put one more coat of uh, filler on. And like I said before, just because we put two coats on, doesn't mean that there's a whole bunch of filler on the car because we removed a lot of that. So um, we're gonna put one coat on, skim coat over the whole area, and that's gonna help when we go to sand it. Um, it's gonna give us a nice foundation. And we're not gonna sand this as, as aggressively because we want some of that filler to stay on there. Now that we know our foundation is good. So let's get that mixed up and on the car. Okay, so you just saw the, uh, the filler get spread. Now what we you did with this is we kind of covered the whole entire area. Before the dent was just in this area, 
But when we actually sanding, we're kind of creating an uneven surface of all the sanding we're gonna do, we did. So pretty much I want that filler to fill in all of those areas. Now this right here is a 320 grit sand scratch. So that is perfectly fine for filler to go into. So now we're not gonna sand this as aggressively. Now this is, goes on pink and it dries like a light green when it's done. So I'm gonna hit a time lapse and show you how quick that dries. Pretty cool how that turned white, huh? All right, so now that we have our last coat of filler on, I'm gonna sand it a little bit differently. I'm not gonna hit it with 80 because I don't need to shape it anymore. I know the shape is there. I know that it's flat. This is just kind of like the pretty coat, if that makes sense. Um, I feathered this all into my areas that I didn't break the paint yet. So I'll be able to have a nice transition. So I'm gonna hit this up with 180 the whole way and i might take a da to knock down the hard stuff but i'm never gonna finish with the da always finishing with a block check it with the guide coat make sure it's nice and flat and straight so let's get to that and i'll show you how we do this <laughs> Okay, so you saw me blocking, and that's the best way to do it. On your last coat, you're only using that block. It, and you can see how the filler pretty much is all still in the same area, and uh, it's really, really, really nice. Now, these are the best things you can use. I'm gonna just feel it. I like to close my eyes and feel it so I don't know where I am on the panel. That way, I um, can really feel with my hands if there's something weird going on or some sort of unevenness i just do the stevie wonder <laughs> it really works so uh i'm really happy with the way this feels sometimes you just don't know until you start sanding them in a primer sometimes you have to put some uh, filler back on there and reprime again but i'm pretty confident with this um so what we're going to do now is we're going to refine that scratch with uh, 220 grit and i put the guide coat on see how it's black and speckly this uh this will take away the 180 and then I'm going to use a 320 and I'm going to do that over the whole area. I'm going to stop it at the body line for the primer. I'll come out to here and I'll stop it at the body line. We'll uh, put some primer on there and that will probably conclude this video and then look for part two, which will be the prep for painting, the painting process and put it back together. So uh, trying to split these videos up, trying to give you more content on a regular basis and give you something to look forward to. I think it's probably going to be better for the channel as well. So let's get the sanding and let's get the prime. Okay, so we're gonna use some etch primer. Remember, etch primer is 1K product, does not require a hardener. 
That's why we're able to spray it out of an aerosol just the same way as, an, as the um, adhesion promoter. So we got little bare metal spots here and there. We're just gonna lightly go over it. You're not supposed to completely cover it. It's supposed to create that little bit of a barrier to help down the road. All right, that is enough for that. All day, baby. All day, baby. We ready. Yeah. We ready. Oh. Prime. All right, so we got our primer, just mixing it up, and we're gonna about go about two, maybe three coats, depending. Um, and we're gonna put it on there, and then I taped off to the edge so that we can uh, sand it real nice when we pull that tape off. Okay, so I got two more additional coats of primer on there, total of three. Now this primer is like a filler primer, so it's kind of like adding a little bit more body filler, but the good thing about it is you sand it off and you're ready to go for paint. It's the last step before paint, and it'll fill in any little micro paint holes. So, guys, thanks for joining me on this video. Um, this will be step part one. Part two will be labeled probably paint and prep, and we'll get on that uh, in the next couple days. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends. I really appreciate you guys watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next one.